So that is all of the cash outs I've had within the app. About two years ago, I posted a video on how at that point I had made about $317 all from scanning receipts. Well, in this video, I want to give an update to that video. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top three apps to make money from scanning your receipts. Hey guys, my name is Adrian. If you are new here, I just wanted to introduce myself. I will start off by saying that everything I talk about is going to be linked down in the description bar. So all of the links links to the apps or specific names and also any referral codes for you guys to use. First app, when I first made this video, I had just started using this app and it has now become my favorite app and it is the Fetch Rewards app. So a lot of people use this app. In the Fetch Rewards app, you can scan any receipts from all stores and all restaurants. They separate how many points you get per receipt based on if it's a qualifying retailer or not. Qualifying retailers include grocery retailers, supermarkets, club wholesalers, home improvement stores, pet stores. What's a non-qualifying store would be any sort of like restaurant like Chipotle or, or any other kind of retailer. The points that you then get from those receipts, you can redeem for gift cards. So they have so many different kinds of gift cards on this app that you can redeem for. Popular ones that I redeem for are Amazon, eBay, Lululemon. We just bought a new king size bed. So we redeemed a whole bunch of gift cards to Wayfair to purchase a king size bed. So many different kinds of retailers. Like I said, how many points you get per receipt depends on if it's a qualifying retailer or not. Qualifying retailer receipt will get you 25 points. A non-qualifying retailer receipt will get you five points. From my calculations, about 1,000 points is equivalent to about $1 for every non-bonus qualifying receipt that you do scan. So that would be like Target or Walmart, you would get 25 points. I equate that to be about two and a half cents, which does not sound like a lot, I know, but I promise in this process, it certainly adds up. There are a lot of other ways you can also get points, not just from scanning those receipts. There are a lot of brands that Fetch partners with. If you purchase certain products that are within the Fetch Rewards app, you will get additional points back for cash back. Something to get you kickstarted with this app though, if you download it, is I do have a code that if you do use it, you get 2,000 points, which is equivalent to $2 for you. So you can redeem that for those gift cards. I want to be completely honest, that is a referral code. So when you get the money, I also get a kickback as well. So I do greatly appreciate anybody using any of these links or any of these codes. The second app that I have come to love is actually one that somebody commented about on that first video that I posted. It is the CoinOut app. The CoinOut app was actually an app that started on Shark Tank, which is really cool. Similarly to the Fetch Rewards app, you can scan pretty much any kind of receipt into the CoinOut app. And how it works is for every receipt that you scan, you get a certain amount of cents back. So I've gotten from scanning my receipts anywhere from the lowest I've gotten, I think it's two cents, all the way up to like 15 cents per receipt. It just depends, I think, on how much you spend. If it's a unique kind of store, I remember one time we were at um, a military commissary and we had a receipt and I scanned it and I, I got a lot more back for that receipt than I did for like a normal target receipt because I think it's a little bit more unique. Coinout is different than Fetch in that you can redeem out as an Amazon gift card, as a Zelle, or you can cash out via PayPal. So those are the th only three options you have. They're a little bit better because you can obviously get cash back and not gift cards. The minimum you need to have is $20 to be able to cash out. Like I said, the receipt worth can vary depending on the receipt that you get. There's actually also a lot of other ways within the CoinOut app to get cash back. You can actually make money from online transactions from going through the CoinOut site each time you go to make those transactions. And this would be with any merchants that they are affiliated with. As of when I started using the CoinOut app, connecting your email was actually something that was really important and they limited how many receipts you could scan depending on how many emails you had connected to your account. I know some people get weird about connecting their emails. I have a few what I call booth emails that I use. I don't know if I should be like publicly saying that. Those are the emails that I made like when I was in eighth grade and I use them when I'm like signing up for something online and I don't want to get all those advertisement emails. I use those emails. So those emails I have linked my CoinOut app just to have an email connected. And just like the Fetch Rewards, I do have a referral link down below, which I will link to. The third and final app is my OG app. It is the Receipt Hog app. It has been tried and true. I've been using this app since 2014 when I was back in college. I'm not even sure how I found 
found out about it, but that's kind of when I started like really going into like saving money. Receipt Hog is an app where you can earn coins back from really any kind of stores, big or small. I pretty much scan all of my receipts into the Receipt Hog app. So that would be like supermarkets, any sort of stores, like I often go to Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I always scan all of those receipts. And within the Receipt Hog app, you can either redeem those coins for cash or gift cards. So I always redeem for cash because cash is just worth more for me. Within the app, they value different receipts depending on how much money you spent on that receipt. And also when you are redeeming for that cash or the gift card back, there are different levels of redemption. So if you're to redeem for $5, your coins are gonna be worth less than if you were to redeem for a higher value, like the $40 redemption, it's gonna cost you less coins. So the longer you save your coins for to redeem for that cash, the more your points are going to be worth. So I always wait to redeem my coins for the highest cash value, which is $40. I have calculated that a receipt that I spend maybe like $25 on is going to be worth anywhere from five to six cents. Other ways you can get coins within the Receipt Hog app is they often do surveys. If they notice that there's a certain product that you purchased, they will send you a survey for that product. Another way you can get more coins is through what they call hog levels. So hog levels is their way of almost incentivizing people to use the app for longer. So I've been using the app for a very long time. So like right now I am on level 32 within the receipt hog app. I'm on level 32. So for every week that I scan a receipt, I go up a little bit in that level. So right now I'm about in the middle of level 32. And for every level that you hit, you get additional coins. So basically after level 32, I will get 440 coins, which is equivalent to $2.71-ish, which yes, I know doesn't sound a lot, but that's just like additional coins onto like what I normally get. So other things you can do, they actually just updated this. I didn't even know this until I was looking at the app. You can link different reward systems through like stores. So you can connect your Costco membership. They have Home Depot, they have Kroger. They have a lot of different stores that you can connect in that. And that makes it so that even if you don't have a paper receipt, the receipt will automatically go to the app and you'll get your coins for that. They also have, you can connect your Amazon account and right now they actually have a sign up bonus. If you connect your Amazon account, you get a 75 coin bonus. I've noticed now that they are very big on e-receipts. So it's almost like you get more for connecting your email or forwarding e-receipts to these apps. But I will say like paper receipts are still heavily prevalent and it is cool that you can like link all those different like stores. Sometimes though, there are certain coins that they don't give you coins for. They actually give you what are called hog slots, which it honestly, whenever I pull it up when <laughs> I'm out, it looks like I'm playing like a gambling game. I don't have any right now, but sometimes for any receipt that's not a qualifying receipt, they'll give me like five hog slots. So I get to play the little slot game. They have different prizes depending on what you win on the game. Um, it's computerized. And I have calculated that I make about $27 a year using this app. It actually tells me total how much I have made. This this is how much I have made since starting to use this app. So all of these apps are free to use and they are also, as of my knowledge, all for just the United States. But I want to share the reasons why you should be using apps like this. First of all, it is free money. Yes, it's not the quickest way to make money, but I know everybody has receipts with them. Everyone goes shopping for groceries, etc. The second is from that free money, that money does come Compound. I total from all of these apps together make a little under $60 a year from just scanning my receipts. Okay, so if I were to take that money and save it for something, like I said in the first video, if I were to go invest those $50 and every year I was just putting $50 away, like that money just adds up. It may not look like it does, but it does add up over the years if you are consistent with it. The third reason I would say I, this is just extra money towards your fun money. So me 
and my husband, we have a specific amount each of us gets for fun monies. And that money is just fun money that we can use on whatever we want. And this is just like extra money that you can use. I don't really think about the time it takes to scan the receipt when I am scanning it. But when I do have enough coins and I do redeem for that $40 gift card, it is a very great reward to be like, wow, I have a $40 gift card that I can really treat myself with something. The fourth reason, and this is probably my most important reason, is that this is actually a great way to keep track of your receipts. So there have been many times when I have thrown a receipt out and then I wanted to go return something and I didn't have the receipt anymore, but I had the receipt on one of these apps. I've been able to return the thing and then get my money back as opposed to getting like store credit or something. Or even with budgeting now within my marriage, like it helps me to track our budget knowing exactly what we were spending at a certain store and therefore I don't have to keep the receipt and that makes it really easy for me. It does take a long, long time to build up any amount of coins or cents back with these receipts to get a return. Like I totally understand that. I will say the longer you use some of these apps, the more you will benefit from like scanning any of those receipts. Two is because it takes a long time, it does take a lot of patience. It's not like the easiest thing to do to remember to save your receipts and then scan them in. A lot of times I will just keep them on our table right in front of our door. And then at some point during the week when I have like some downtime or if I'm just watching a show, I'll just scan all of the receipts at the same time. I'm going to say that this is not for people who don't want their habits tracked. The reason why these apps exist is so that marketing companies can track what people are buying and therefore they can make more money in the future with other people who may have similar spending habits. I personally don't have a problem with that. I know some people do, so I just wanted to be transparent about that. Although I will say about just taking the time to scan those receipts is it is becoming a lot easier via e-receipts. A lot of times like I don't even upload receipts, but I'm still getting coins because like my Sam's Club and my Costco membership are connected to, to my coin out account. So I automatically get coins via that way. So this is what I would do. We're going to pretend this post-it note is a receipt, this pad of post-its. So if I were to have gone to a store, gotten my receipt, I would have kept it with me. I would scan the same receipt into each app. And I equate that to making me about 18 cents per receipt. So if I were to just every time I had one receipt, put 18 cents in a jar over the course of a week, like that does add up. The calculation I did is if I were to put 18 cents in a jar five to six times a week, I would have about a dollar a week. That would be about $52 a year, 50 plus dollars more than I had before. All of the links and referral codes are going to be down in the description bar. So don't forget to check that out. Thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful or hit that like button down below and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.